This area isn't done, Tutu. You can't be cute yet. Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome back to our Let's Play as we now have a lot of cuties walking around T-Bone. Oh, look at the toe beans. Oh my god, that is so cute. What a good start to the episode today. Also eating that delicious looking sandwich again. Uh, T-Bone should now also be moved in and then apparently we have Flurry giving a concert right here. Please continue, don't stop on my account. Go on, go on, go on. It's very high. That is some very, very good vocals. Awesome job. <laughs> wow. Um, T-Bone should be moved in. I think that he is all the way, oh my God, we got Daily by the Pond, looking at the fishy. See, this is, this is very good. Hi Hornsby, it is very good to see you. And then over here, uh, this is Alice home and then right here we've got T-Bone again. Let's go. I think he is still in boxes, but let's say hello to him at least. Yes, there we go. Okay, so we still have to wait another day before we can actually move him to uh, the spot that he was in. Um, I don't know if we'll do that today or like in this episode or if that'll just happen at some other point. For today, I thought, a little background information, I'm about to be on a little vacation with my family for about um, like a week and a half almost, so I won't be able to like record anything, I won't be able to edit anything, so I have to kind of prepare a few things beforehand, and um, I also started streaming again like last week and then this week and then I'll be gone for a week and so it's all like a bit in between and I'm trying to kind of get a good plan up of when to do what so my head is a very 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 full right now uh with just all types of stuff so I feel like I can't really tackle too big of an area right now or start like something completely completely fresh um so what I thought we should do uh, unfortunately, we have to remove these weeds. What I thought we should do today, sorry, uh, distractions, etc., cetera, um, is finally work a bit more on a few things just around here. I was mainly thinking we could work um, on some codes. So that basically means um, I want to add codes underneath all of these tents because um, we've been like, I, that was so many episodes ago that we kind of started this. And then also we could put some stuff underneath um, underneath these uh, log stakes here, maybe work on some pathing around uh, Gala's house, you know, those types of things. So that everything is connected and then we can very soon um, fully decorate it. I think just because everything takes so, so much time, we probably even won't even get that much done today. I like won't get that much more than that done today. Also, uh, some of you may have noticed I did actually move the shrubs. I decided to do that off video just because last episode was already kind of like an errand running episode and today would have been the very same had we done that like on, uh, like during the let's play. Oh, look at this beautiful butterfly. So pretty. Um, so yeah, I would say we're going to do some pathing. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to need my workbench, but I'm just going to plop it right there uh, against the cliff. And I'm gonna put my workbench right there as well. Okay, so very briefly, I will link my website down below on which I've got all my codes uh, linked. I think that I still am missing this one here. I do have it on my Pinterest though, I'm pretty sure. So I will add that as soon um, as I remember to. Uh, anyway, <laughs> we currently have a few different path options. So we've got a sand path, then we have this one that we kind of have been using like mainly, I feel like. Uh, we do have this um, rock one that I don't think we've used at all. And then obviously we've got this like beachy, beachy tile. So up until this point, we've pretty much only used that like main kind of meadowy flower, also somewhat sand looking path. I think this is more of a dirt path, but it kind of looks like that. Uh, you know, sand color too. And then we used a bit of that sand over here leading up to the beach, which I think is kind of cute. I would like to have, I think the tiles, like the beachy sand uh, looking tiles underneath the tents here, like these. And I feel like we could try and connect it throughout like the different, the different areas. Maybe even if we have the Moroccan footrest there, we could bring it like further out to the front and that way, it'll look a bit more like it's not going to be just like the circle stuff 
Actually, though, we could plan something right here. So I kind of do, I kind of do almost want to end it or we'll have like, um, I think a lower middle tile like this one. Yeah, so we can connect it on the right hand side, but in front of the kids tent, we could put like a flower. I think that'll, that'll probably be like a good idea. Okay, let's move this out of the way just like this for now. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have to end it here so we can plant said flower. Uh, and then we're going to have to do like the circle shape like back there and then close it out to the front somewhat. See, but now this is looking almost a little weird. Right. Okay. Um, It is shaping up to just be the circles because if I do it like if I do it just like an oval shape, I don't think that's going to look any better. Let's let's try it, though. I mean, um, who knows? Maybe it'll be a surprise just because. Oh, no, not that. Not not there. <laughs> Um, because this is such a like broken up path around the edges. I feel like um, those do blend in quite nicely, so we can try that. All right, so it would be pulled in like this. And then that was the mama bear, right? Right, okay. Okay, I, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Let me add the single tile one that we've got in addition to that, like this one here. So it kind of just looks like broken up pieces of um, like a stone path or like a tile or whatever. And then just for the sake of it, I do want to try and maybe have, ooh, I don't know, maybe like a blue flower. Does anybody know where I keep my flowers? I think the blue ones are on the left side, which is very impractical. Oh my god, Tutu, this is this is a very like highly frequent actually no, no, not that many people come over here. So you go sit there. You go sit there if you want to, but how cute. <laughs> that is heckin' adorable. Okay, I don't wanna Oh my god, the way she's munching. <sighs> I don't wanna overdo it with like the um filler decorations. Like that's not gonna be like my main focus today. So I'm just gonna I just wanna have this one uh flower so that I can kind of imagine it. Yeah, I think that's kind of cute, you know, and then the the um, the tiles kind of morph around it and then we can either have some more flowers, shrubs, maybe maybe some more items, maybe some wheat fields. Wheat fields are always great. You know, I, I do like those filler decorations. I feel like they always bring out the um, like more themed parts of the decorations out a lot more like they just I don't know, they draw the, like, they let, let the focus be on that, if that makes any sense. Okay, so we finally got some, like, underground stuff for our kids' tents. Very much enjoy that. Okay. Um, we are going to need something, like, underneath the bridges right there on the sides. I feel like, right, we got the puddle on the other side. So maybe this could be something a bit more colorful. Oh, and since it's kind of close to the beach, maybe we'll do some shells here underneath there. Oh, yeah. Wait, that's so cute. Okay, I like that. And then maybe can this just be like some small blue flowers? How do these look? Okay, yeah, I feel like that could work. That could totally work. Right, so we've got a little bit of path. Can we just appreciate the fact that this already looks very, very different just because of like the different flowers that we've used? I kind of find that very interesting. I don't know if the blue flower there is the perfect though, or if we should have, um, but the, the pink, I don't like using the pink kids tent unless it's for like a pink themed area because it is very pink. Um, I'm not sure if maybe I should use more of a white flower here actually, and then use the blue kind of more in front of this and then have like a a pink one somewhere on this side. Let me try that maybe. Okay, so would, would this be the flower? I think that would be the flower. And then the other would just be like a weed, which I don't even have with me. I have like nothing with me right now. Okay, well, we've got some pink flowers over here. Why not grab a lily? Remember me saying like two minutes ago, I wasn't gonna focus on filler decorations. Yeah, I tend to really keep my word, don't I? <laughs> uh, we even got the the white flowers spread across like the different beach sections, like um, by the river mouth and away from it. That's that's great. That's just making this super super easy, isn't it? 
<laughs> okay, white tulip goes here. And then maybe this right here could be the pink one. Um, or maybe that also will just be like two on the same line. I'm not quite sure. We could just move the pink flower to like more in the front there. Yeah, that could work. I don't want to overload it with flowers either. It's not, well, it's supposed to have somewhat of a meadowy feel. I think I remember saying that I did want this to be um, kind of meadowy just because of that like romantic thought that I had. Um, but like, maybe this is kind of okay-ish, right? And then we can still, we can still fill it up with, um, with wheat fields and maybe like a shrub right here would be cool. Okay, so these two are stunted behind the cedar tree, so we can't really use that slot um, to put anything. Okay, let's go back to this in a second, and for now, let's connect the um, like entrance part and the bridges here with the campsite. So I kind of want to keep using that um, regular like dirt path that I've used, like this one here. And then I was thinking, so uh, my house is just right up that incline, right? So if you walk um, up here, the official pathway will kind of continue onwards to the left, but you can also go to my house, which is here. And that is going to be kind of like a, like a spa or you can take like different courses like for your retreat experience, I guess. So I was thinking maybe we should have the stone path there. So it seems almost like more of an official type of building, right? I feel like maybe that could could work potentially. Okay, diagonal bridges sometimes suck when it comes to pathing. Let me figure this out. If this is a bottom right corner piece, Oh, it is in the middle of it. Okay, well, can I connect this without it looking weird? So, like, that would be a pretty long, pretty straight path. But maybe that's fine. And then this would be, like, a top right corner, like that. And then it would kind of be connected. So, top right corner again, and then, like, the top middle piece. And then, obviously, we're just going to fill. Eh. We're just going to fill. No, <laughs> the rest of this up. Okay, well, that is looking a little bit weird. Okay, that seems a bit too symmetrical for me. Right, option number two is we extend this path and make it like a bit over, like overlap it a bit with the bridge. I can, don't lie to me. I can put a design here, like underneath the bridge-ish, underneath-ish. <laughs> yeah, kind of like this. Although that would be just like a giant blob, blob of pathing. No, okay, wait, let me remove that again. <laughs> okay, let's let's figure this out, let's figure this out. I uh, don't like this part of here. Maybe it needs to go further up that way so we can connect it to the right-hand side, right? Okay, so let's do a piece that goes straight and then the corner and then close it up on the left. And then here, we're just gonna return it to what it was before. Okay, I can already see I don't like that because it looks very rectangular. Mm -hmm. Great, cool, cool. That's not an issue. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, wait. What did I just get? What did I just get, Miles, for laying your pathing weird? Oh, because I've used my phone a bunch. Yeah, because I like to use my phone to place pathings. All right, we are going to attempt to already connect the path to the bridge as well. Maybe that'll uh, make it feel a bit more natural, but then it would also be like two pieces that go straight. Having a path that goes into like multiple, oh, multiple directions is really hard because I personally am not a big fan of having like big patches of pathing. So like this right here would be like just too big for me. Um, I like to have smaller ones that just feel a bit more like intricate and detailed and also allow me to just add in a few more details later on, you know, and just add in like a flower in between or um, those types of cutesy things. Okay, so this is what I had it like before, correct? Correct, okay we'll try it like this and then we'll just continue the path and then maybe it'll blend in if we put like 
more items. Obviously this area still also needs to have a bunch of trees. We've literally only placed that tree uh, and then these two here. I think no more on the peninsula except for maybe like a very small one. Um, I do want to put the flower garden or like flower farmy bit for um, Gala on the beach, eh, on the, sorry, on the peninsula and on the beach. Um, I do think this is quite a good opening for us to uh, continue it towards the beach, you know, so she has just like this beautiful lookout and just like these um, flower fields kind of like everywhere. Um, but obviously like this area here, I do want to have a few more trees. Okay, but yeah, maybe this is gonna, maybe this is gonna be fine. Okay, so let's try and make our way to the, um, to the incline over there. And then I think from that path, we're, we're just gonna do like a plank path version to, um, to Gala's house. So it's not too official, you know, I want each and every villager to kind of have their own private little area that is not gonna be like in the main traffic zone, if that makes any sense. Uh, and that way, you know, it, it really truly has that retreat character. Okay, this is one of my favorite shapes of pathing that I like to do. Uh, almost kind of looks like a heart, depending on the type of pathing that you use. Sometimes it does a bit more so uh, than others. Okay. Right. So now I would need to go and kind of be able to circle it around to the incline. Let's attempt to do that, shall we? Uh, let's curve it out a tiny bit more, just like this here, and then probably go straight on again. We need to have at least like a four tile pathing here, or maybe not, maybe not. We could get away with a little bit less maybe. Okay. I know that sometimes like path talk. Um, or directions talk does not make any sense unless you can actually see it. So uh, I do apologize for that. I generally have like a really, really hard time kind of explaining directions or explaining like where, what happens and goes. So I do apologize for that, uh, which is probably not the best for an Animal Crossing content creator because so much of it is just uh, through kind of explaining what you're doing. Okay, also, I do want to once again, this is something I've been doing on all of my islands. It not, it's not necessarily something that truly makes sense, but um, I always like to have the villager photos by um, their houses. So we have to, first of all, we have to work for those. Okay, I wanna have it the other way around. We have to work for those because I did say that on this island, I don't just wanna get them from treasure islands. I usually just go and pick them up at some point because I, just kind of forget to actually give them something, you know? And then, so I always put like a little, a little chair in front of their home and then their photo goes there because I do have a feeling like, I, I don't know. I feel like it's quite a nice little uh, detail and like concept to, um, to add those. See, I only have a paradise planning photo and the Brewster one. <laughs> I do have the Brewster photo. Uh, not sure which it's gonna be for her house. Maybe we should just use the boxy stool for now. I wanna use a pink version or a log stool would be cute. I wanna use the pink version just because Gala is pink. So, you know, I feel like she would love a pink chair. Also her house is, one of the first ones that we're gonna have to redo like on the inside actually as soon as we possibly can all right i i don't i kind of like this path shape i feel like maybe it looks a little bit weird and i think it might be symmetrical <laughs> but you know what i don't mind it because the flowers are kind of different mm, now there's just the question of do i do another circle stuff type thing here or I could also curve the planks like this. Looks a little weird though. I don't just want to put like the corner pieces of this path. I always feel like that does not look super great. Um, but maybe we'll work around it. Okay, what if we do like the filler, the single one like this, maybe closer there because I did have a vine there just before, which I thought was kind of a good uh, setup right here. And then we already kind of work in the stone path that we're gonna use up above, just like this. And then this right here will be a flower. And then this here could be 
Honestly, the, the stones right here technically is room for a tree. <laughs> We're not gonna do that though. We are not gonna do that. I'm not sure if this could be a tree. That would be fantastic. If that can be a tree, uh, that would make me very happy, but I'm not sure because it might be considered the edge of, um, of the house. Do I have a small tree somewhere except for right behind the, oh, by the, by the campsite. Okay, let's use that one. <laughs> We're gonna use that just to see if placing a tree there is possible. Uh, and then, yeah, that might be the solution to kind of cover uh, parts of this. It can be, okay. Well, what about we make that a tall-ish tree? Have we just been using, um, no, we've been using bamboo and we've been using cedar. Okay, I've literally used nothing else but hardwood in this area. Uh, maybe it's time for like a cedar tree. Add some more darker hues to this area, if you're so pleased to say. <laughs> and then let me also get some weeds with that. The silence when um, when the water. See, I I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so silent in my brain. I can't think anymore. Um, but the silence when the waterfalls are finally quiet is is kind of wild. Oh yeah. Also, I customized a few of the gyroids to actually fit our color scheme. Uh, not too big of a of a change there, obviously. But um, yeah. Okay, what did I want to get? I got some trees, weeds. I wanted to get some weeds. Okay, and then I think that was kind of the plan for now. So this one here is going to be a cedar tree. There we go. And then oh, we're getting miles for that. You know, we did something tiny, 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 and we're getting a reward for that. All right, are we gonna use the same path over to the campsite? I think so. I think we really should. Uh, let me find out the spacing in front of the campsite because you never know how stuff will align with the buildings because all of them are super different. Okay, so we can just do a circle maybe. I think a circle here and then behind the tree to the bridge is probably, probably makes sense. And then I always like to carry around weeds just for the sole purpose of testing whether something can also be a flower or not because I think this spot right here can't be and then this one here can't be either and this one additionally sorry i hit my desk with my controller <laughs> even though i'm not even that mad just yet um but this one right here is a super annoying um spot to add a code as you can see it's not it's not really working i'm gonna have to go into um the island designer i will go right here there we go because then we should totally be able to place one Okay, I think we're actually gonna go for maybe some blue flowers though. The tent is super white and the path only has the white flowers. So I think some blue flowers here could be really cute. And then you have to stand like slightly behind it and then you can add a coat right there. Okay, and then something else I wanted to plan, uh, test, sorry, is whether something can be placed in front of the campsite. Also, miles, um, cause maybe we could put a, like a little bear or again, like a little, um, like a stool with a, a delicious, delicious food item, you know, by the campsite, always fun. I also did want to check if maybe we put, hmm, did we put maybe the fruit cupcakes by the little tents, like the kids' tents or some cookies? I'm going to grab both to check. And then I'm going to grab, do I have a bear? Oh yeah, I have a baby bear. Okay, let's test that one. Let's test this one right in front of the campsite right here. Mm, there we go, baby bear. Also cannot be placed here, really? Why not? That is so annoying. Okay, so we can just put something like in front of it. Okay. That probably can't be like a tree either, huh? We have our test tree right here. Why not? Why not see? No, no, here, please. I think not, though. I think it can, yeah, it, it can be like a flower. It can be something planted, but it can't be a tree because it's like close to the edge of the, the campsite. Yeah. Can this be a tree is an incredible game, right, Hornsby? Do you think so, too? I, I definitely, I definitely think so. <laughs> okay, once again. Oh, no, not the miles. 
with these loud waterfalls in the background, let's add some pathing here. Um, let's try this way, and then we're gonna close it off right here. Actually, no, this needs to curve downwards. It just needs to be a little, little patch of pathing. It doesn't need to be super, um, super big because this is only a tiny island. Do we just do like two circles kind of like connected? Cause that kind of what it looks like or does it need to reach a bit further? Oh, I guess it would be nice if it reaches kind of a little bit further than that. Okay, I see. That is of course totally fine. We're just gonna add some flowers right there. Again, maybe not white. Oh, dang it. It's going great here. It's, it's, don't worry about it. Do I have some pink flowers? I don't think I have pink flowers. I just have these and then these like sticker type flowers. I don't love those. If anyone has a code, maybe I'm going to also look for it. But if anyone has like a more flowery coat, like kind of this, the flower cluster or like these up here, but in like a soft blushy pink, I would obviously or not obviously. That's definitely not obvious because I usually would not take those. But I would honestly take those because I feel like the pink coats I currently have are not great. Okay, and then here we're going to add some some daisies. Oh, these are pretty. These are super pretty. Okay. Oh my gosh. Let's move away from the waterfalls just for a second. Great. <laughs> great. Actually, this is kind of... The pathing might be okay. What if we just add a single tile? Because I just looked at it and I was like, wait, that kind of looks cute though. Mm-hmm. All right, and then this right here also just needs to be a code, right? So like in front of the campsite. Before, I thought we might put like a little doily, like a little tiny circle rug thing and then put like a bear on top. I can't though. So I might just opt for some flowers as well. Maybe some shells, like just these two shells. That could be cute, maybe. Okay. Yeah, you could definitely understand that where you have to go. <laughs> Does that make any sense? I always liked my pathing to be somewhat accessible, you know, so it's like easy to understand like where I want you to go and where stuff is supposed to lead. So I hope that that makes sense. All right, so this right here will be a tree. So I think we're gonna start leading the path to Gala's house kind of from this point onwards. And I wanna do that with planks. And what I like to do is I like to just kind of map out um, the path and then we'll see if like we like the curvage or not. And then we'll adapt, um, we'll adapt with the actual like corner pieces. Okay. Am I correct in assuming that that can't be anything planted? Okay, what if we curve it there then? So, right, let's actually use those pieces now. So this will be a downward curve, then it'll go to the right hand side, and then it'll be downward again. Oh yeah, I actually don't mind that. And then I feel like this right here should be something planted. Or it can be, I, I believe. Yes. Okay, perfect. So that could be like a beautiful, tall, mm, blue flower. Just like the hyacinth that we put right there. It doesn't need to stay a hyacinth though. Absolutely not. I just I just wanted to have something planted there. It could literally be a shrub. I feel like that would be a good place for a shrub. So let's move the hyacinth here. Right? We'll probably have to stunt the tree at the third stage. I feel like maybe fully grown it would be too tall, like it would it would be too much. But this would be beautiful if we can add like a wheat field on half a tile here and then next to the house. I sometimes have these like weird random thoughts, even though I'm not even I'm not doing like I'm not really focusing on the decorating just yet, but then I'll just be like, oh, this would be cute for that. And then I'll just kind of try it out and just put it down so I don't forget in the future. Because <laughs> next time I load the game up, I'll be like, oh, I don't remember what I wanted to put here. You know, so kind of like this was my idea. And then you wouldn't see this gap. We could have a code underneath, but you wouldn't see this gap because the tree is fully grown. But then from the front, the house is just like nicely caged in almost. Okay, um, let me put a weed here so I know this will be something planted. 
And then honestly, what we could do is we could work on some codes right here too. I almost want to have... We're going to do a mixture, right? We're going to do a mixture of like leaves and puddles and all of that type of stuff. We just have to hopefully remember which one was where. Okay, so this one is something with a bit more color maybe. Maybe some small shells like this. And then I believe that first one was on half a tile. Oh gosh, that's gonna be hard. And maybe that can be a puddle with leaves. Oh wait, okay, wait, 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 wait. See, that's the issue. Everything's on half a tile. This is complicated as a heck. And it shouldn't be, it should be not be this hard. See, that, that that's what happens when you don't immediately put in your code. Um, but you kind of like, I should do this. I should just pull them all backwards and then I can work on the code and then push them backwards exactly the way they were. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's good. That's a good idea. Why did I not think of that before I picked up the first two? <laughs> all right, we're gonna add some, some white flowers. I wanna have something kind of like subtle, I feel like. Or maybe we're, maybe we're gonna do, uh, I think I need to pull this backwards one more. Maybe we're gonna do some leaves and then turn, like then do the daisies. That would be cute. Okay, let's do that. So maybe the leaves that have a few tiny rocks there, yes. And then we'll go for the daisies. I need to, I need to sort these fresh. And then here could be maybe another puddle, but this time the one without the leaves, you know? So it changes enough. This one here. And then maybe some blue flowers. Uh, let's do the darker ones. Yeah, I was gonna say that is not gonna be enough enough room. And then maybe some more leaves, just because I feel like the leaves are a nice like versatile code. Maybe the, the thicker ones right here. And then pull that this way. All right. So. Everything needs to go two tiles back, except for this one. I think that was three. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, right. One and two. There we go. See, and now everything already looks more detailed. Um, right now it also looks <laughs> a bit ridiculous with the surrounding, obviously not have like not fitting in just yet. But that'll be fine. All right, I think this is what it was like, right? I believe so. I believe so. Um, technically, uh, do you think there is a room for like another log stake? Just so it kind of like there's no weird gap here. And then we fill this up with like maybe another flower. We'll have to figure out how though, because obviously we want, um, see, I want a mum. Can I hop, hop over here? I can, okay, good. <laughs> Um, I need to figure out how I'm going to do the flower farm for Gala because I'm pretty sure that we're going to do some pathing underneath the actual like farmy part so it looks a bit more just kind of uh, official and not just like putting together a meadow and just planting flowers randomly. Why did I choose a mum when there's one right there? If you saw that coming, <gasps> hello Tutu! <laughs> If you saw that coming and you yelled at me and were like, Malie, no, there's a mom right there. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know what to say. I, <sighs> yeah, it's fine. Um, right. I mean, we could do a Cosmo. Why not? We can do a Cosmo. Yeah, we need to remember to put T-Bone's house. Maybe next time. <laughs> Maybe next time. I'm not sure. Okay. Let's get this out of the way then. Ugh, get out of my sight. And then white Cosmo goes here. Maybe that's going to be better. And then let me get another pair of log steaks. Um, but before we do that, I got some cookies. And some cupcakes. And Tutu is killing me over here. Okay, what about the frosted cupcakes? <gasps> that looks so good. We can, we can also do, I don't think I have, I've been keep, oh my god, that also looks so good though. 
I've been getting a ton of uh, cooking recipes, but I know I'm not sure how many of like the really good ones I have. So I have pancakes. <gasps> I do have the brown sugar cupcakes. I love the brown sugar cupcakes. I think they're one of the prettiest recipes uh, in the game. Like, you know, so it's a bit more like neutral and we don't have like too much pink or something going on. <gasps> she fucking fell asleep. This area isn't done, Tutu. You can't be cute yet. Oh my god. Are you... And next to the bear, too. Who wants to do a thing? Who is thinking and ruining my photo? I love how there's like this giant gaping hole in front of the bear. Hornsby! No! Hornsby, no! <laughs> we have completed the lineup. There is going to be no moving on this island. Just within the island. <laughs> but Tutu is so cute. I think she feels very at home, right? Isn't there a thing that people you like tend to fall asleep when they're just like very... When they feel very comfortable, you know? So... I think Tutu is just feeling very comfortable on this island, which is very good for us. Um, all right, I wanted to grab some log stakes. There we go. So let's see if we can put more here. We can. Oh, we should then, right? Yeah, yeah, we should. Okay, let's customize those. And then I do also want to customize that right here. Okay, log stakes will be white birch, just like the others, obviously. And then the signpost, I'm not quite sure, cause so it's not, it can't be this one, right? Because the other one shows my home, cause it's literally leading to the home. Um, it could be like forest, just because it kind of also reminds me of like an orchard and the farm is going to be in that direction. It can't be, I don't know about the museum. I don't think the museum will be there. Uh, shop, airport, tailors will definitely not be there. Resident services won't be there. It could also be the fishing spot, just because there's gonna, there is a giant lake there. I feel like this probably makes the most sense, right? Because you see on the map, you see like a giant lake. So uh, if that signpost says like the little fishing spot, you would kind of probably know that um you know you you can get to the lake this way okay also i don't know if i can manage to do much about the pathing here but maybe we can already put down the rock ones just like oh sorry just a starter one so we know to use this one here um although we could also continue this way here with the dirt path and then just have the path to my house be with this one that is also a possibility yeah 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 that is also a possibility okay tutu woke up good morning good morning it's good to have you back and then let's just put some weeds here i think that'll be totally fine mm, obviously this here could also be an item and then maybe some like just weeds in between I'm very, very much open to using weeds in a bunch of places um, because it is just, I feel like that oftentimes makes an area look very calm, um, right? And then this here could be a shrub and then in between, or this could be weed fields. I love weed fields. They're great. What else did I get? Oh yeah, I got garden lanterns because I thought, I, I keep thinking a lot. <laughs> it's something I often say when I decorate. But it's true, you know, I just, I thought we could um, put some garden lanterns down. I think I put one, yeah, yeah, see, I put one here too. Larry's still giving a concert, heckin' cute. I put one here and I feel like that would be a continued, like, cute detail to have those just along because it gives me this very coastal, like, calm vibe. How the heck is that place? Is that like middle of the of the tile? Yeah, if I place that there, I'm literally not gonna be able to. Okay, that might be. Yeah, that might be a little bit annoying to run around. But if I place it here in the middle, I co I can't plant anything anymore. Is this not? Can I not plant something here either? <gasps> oh my god, that's not good. 
This is just one tile to plant something. Y'all are killing me here. Excuse me? I can't. Oh gosh, the tile system in Animal Crossing sometimes. Like you can twist it and really work it to your, I don't know, advantage probably not, but you can work with it, right? There are certain ways in which you can just work with it and figure things out that look good. But sometimes it drives me up the wall because it doesn't make any sense. And there's so much space there, but you can't do anything about it. Like I can't, I'm not gonna be able to place anything there. So I can just put a flower, like one flower. And then uh, that's it, literally, you know? So like, what do I have? A white mum. I can put one, one white mum and the rest of this needs to be codes. <laughs> Which I mean, I'm willing to do. I love codes, but at the same time, sometimes I like items too. And that looks a bit lost, I'm not gonna lie. Probably also won't be like, a white one. Oh wait, I've got a double I've got a double mum here. Let me use I am not digging up that tall weed. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen. When I pressed A, I was like, Ugh. okay, let's hope that did not save. And let's see how much we lost. <laughs> okay, we are back. Right, so all of the pathing here is still around. Love to see that. Oh yeah, see, we have a knot, the, the codes are gone. The codes are gone, but pretty much anything else is still here. Okay, I can work with that. Good, good, good. <sighs> what a terrifying moment. Right, let's not repeat that, please. Also, I, I can't even like blame it on, on the drift or anything like that, because I currently, knock on wood, uh, don't have that. So, you know, I could have used that as an excuse, but I, I can't, <laughs> I can't. All right, so in that case, this here would be the pink mum. And then I believe I had leaves on the side, like on the right hand side. Uh, these ones with the little, with the little uh, rocks in between. And then I think this was the, this was the blue ones, correct? The flowery cluster too. I can't, don't lie to me, game. I know, I know that this can be a code. In fact, we've had this today. We've been over this. <laughs> there we go. See, that wasn't so hard. Mm-hmm. And then maybe some shells on the right hand side. But like some some small ones. How about how about this? Maybe like halfway under the bridge. Okay, that's fine. That's fine with me. Oh yeah, I still carry the log stakes with me. Don't know if I'm gonna use the garden lantern. You know what though? I will plop it down right next to the bridge. Maybe there. Don't know if I love that. <laughs> Don't know if I love that, but it'll be fine. Oh, Flowey! Uh, she gave up on her concert when I when I quit the game, and uh, now she's just um. What are you doing? Are you also munching on your sandwich in between the flowers? Be careful you don't eat the flowers. You are tiny. You you are tiny, and your arms are very short. <laughs> okay. Um. I also brought over some simple wooden fencing because I just had the thought, if we continue the flower farm over to that side, right? It might be cute if we have like almost this kind of fence along the edges, because this is kind of like a very, very straight looking um, peninsula part. What does it look like if I've got like almost like a gate like this? Oh, wait, that's almost, that's really cute. Kind of like this, like it's a gate. That could be cute. And we just have to figure out how to block the the um, gaps there in, in the back, you know? But that could be an option. I don't know if we want to continue it much further. I do want to work in like some more natural looking stuff too. But then this could kind of be like the gate to the beach or like to the peninsula, whichever way you're coming. I like that. Do you like that, Flurry? Yeah, she said yes. I heard it very, very clearly. <laughs> okay, um... Oh yeah, I wanted to grab some weed fields to try it out right there just briefly. And then I might just very quickly also cram in the time traveling to get uh, T-Bone to move. Because I've been recording. See, this is the thing. 
Like I said previously, you get nothing done in the amount of time that we do this for. Because it is already time to stop the recording. I've been here for like 50 minutes. 50 minutes. Okay, so wheat fields was the idea halfway in front of the campsite or 10. It's not the campsite. It's, it's just a kid's 10. Yeah, see, that's kind of cute. That is kind of cute, but we could also just work with natural stuff. Or we could do one weed field and then a shrub. Although I always feel very awkward just having one weed field in a, in a spot. I usually always use like two here together. And then maybe the pink flower does have to move back, even if it's going to be like right next to this. Let me attempt this, please. Maybe that'll also be a bit cuter. Fill the space up a bit more. I did just previously say I like using the, the weeds because it makes it all seem a bit more peaceful. <laughs> but if, if, if anything, I also like to go back on my own words. So that very much fits. Is Dottie doing yoga again, y'all? She truly is an athlete who just wants to keep moving all the time. Um, I can't say that I relate to that, but I will give her the opportunity to do that, of course. Alice. How cute. Oh, we've gotten some really cute villagers. I hope you all feel the same way that I do about them. Uh, oh yeah, I wanted to grab some shrubs, so this is where I moved them. Uh, very um, satisfying lineup. I want to just grab just... Just very few. I think once we've used these up, I'm gonna start just using them from like the little um, shrub, what are they called? Uh, sapling things from my pockets. Cause I've grown very used to them. Like I've worked enough with shrubs now to be able to imagine them. Uh, so, you know, and that does save like a bit of space in my pockets. Oh my gosh. Yes. You know what though? I think even just the addition of, of path, pathing, it brings an area together. It makes it all seem so much like more real and, and completed and full. It It's awesome. It's truly awesome. Okay, that could work. This is where we've got the tree stunted. So that is, you know, we're gonna have to keep that open. I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna put some flowers here. Maybe just some, some pink, uh, pink little leaf leaves, and then maybe some more of that broken down uh, beachy tile, sandy tile, you know. And then I feel like if we have something here, namely a flower or a shrub, that'll also block that tiny bit of space. So you will notice uh, throughout my decorating, I hate when there's gaps like this just in between the tent here and the tree. That's kind of what I really pay attention to and hyper focus on when I decorate. But let's assume, I think that is probably like this spot right here. Let's just put, I don't think we're gonna keep it there, but let's just put a shrub here. I feel like that'll probably already help a bunch. Yeah, and then there's gonna be something like next to it as well. And just right behind that hardwood tree. Yeah. I hyper focus. I, I definitely do. But you know, I also like whenever I, I decorate something and then I realize that it's just not, I'm just not super happy with it. I will tear it down again. I am unfortunately that type of person. I will just tear it down again if I, I'm not really um, loving it. Okay, same thing here. I am struggling a bit with that gapping because I know that there needs to be, or I know that there's a sapling behind this like little hardwood tree. Um, what we could do is shift this, the one that is needed for stunting, just to like right next to it. Because from like most perspectives, it is going to be right behind the kids tent and you're not going to notice too much, you know, like this. And then we could still put like something behind it. And then we could work with, um, yeah, I mean, wheat fields <laughs> behind this. And then, or maybe this could be a shrub. Let's try this one as the shrub. Wait, it's a fully grown one. So I'm gonna 
Hold on, I'm not, I'm gonna need to put down codes and everything first before I need to do the shrub because I can't walk here anymore if I put it down now. Okay, so sandy tiles and just some some leaves. I have one more with me. Okay. Well, we can test my theory then. I think. <laughs> Uh, so that goes on half a tile here, right? And then this is going to be the shrub. <laughs> yeah, I like that much better. I like that much better. I don't know if I'm <laughs> exaggerating and just, you know, being too much, but I do like it much better. I also have some overgrown windflowers right here by the entrance. Hello, Daily. Uh, I have no idea which one of these was here to stay. I truly don't remember. But maybe the one right... Sorry, Daily. I keep walking in your face. Uh, maybe the one right in front of the shell fountain? I don't know. I could, I could just look at, like, old footage. But, you know... Right, and then the other weed field will be either here or more like there. Maybe, maybe to the right hand side. So this will be the flower. How much do you see it from the front is the question. It's a lot of blue right there. Okay, let's take that away again. Let's take that away again and just put it next to the bamboo here. And then maybe this is gonna be the shrub. Maybe it, I think it should be a darker one though, cause it's right by the hardwood tree. So it blends it a bit too much. Um, and if we use uh, like a hibiscus, it will be a bit more contrasty. And then I was looking for one more weed field, of course. What else, what else? <laughs> oh my gosh. See, this is also, this is why my islands lack so much because I use weed fields everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Okay, so the weed field would go towards that side here, like this. This could be a flower, and then that will just be a weed. Oh, uh, weed, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, it is hyacinth, windflower, and pansy. Oh yeah, it's pansies. Right, right, right. Yeah, you don't see this blue flower whatsoever, do you? Hmm, what if I use it just a bit more in front? Eh, let's see that. A little bit more, it's like shining through. Am I overthinking, etc.? Yeah, all the time. Okay, I'm gonna use a pansy there instead though, and then go for a white windflower behind the bamboo. Okay, so this. And this, thank you very much. All right, so the pansy goes here and then right behind it is gonna just be a clump of weed. Actually, maybe a different one. <laughs> maybe a different one. Uh, maybe a different one. Yes, thank you. And then this here will be the windflower. So it'll be like a bit of a different type of white and not a repetition with that. Hmm. The trees won't be green, right? So that is something to consider. But like, I almost want to switch that to a pink flower and then like the pink mum, and then that pink mum is going to be the blue wind flower. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Or not, because my shovel just broke. Oh my gosh, fitting, fitting. They're trying to hold me back, I can tell. Good thing we do apparently live in uh, Shovel City. <laughs> and we have lots of backup, don't you worry. Don't you worry. I wonder how big that sandwich is that Flurry is munching on. Because it is like never ending. Good, good for her though, you know, good for her. And Pink Mum goes there, okay. Yeah, I kind of like that better. I don't. I can't even really truly explain it, um, but I think I like that better. All right. <laughs> that was so weird. Anyway, uh, let's get T-Bone's plot. No, wait, actually we have to time travel first. 
We have to time travel first, and then we can get T-Bone Splot. I don't think I've ordered any items today, so let me also briefly do that. Oh, and Hornsby wants to talk to us. Hey, Maline, guess what? I've got something special for you today. It's a present. Here, take it. Uh-oh. A bath towel wrap. I saw it and thought of you. I hope you like it. Oh, look at Dilly. Cute. Dottie has to, you know, chill a bit. Okay, let's let's go shopping. Okay, we're gonna get the song of the day, and the rest, you know what it's gonna be. Wheat fields. Okay, let's skip three days so we can check the cedar tree and then move T-Bone's house so he'll be like fully moved in and everything. And then we might just have to skip another day. Um, if like the cedar tree is not great like that. Okay, one, two, three. Not a single cloud in the sky today. Okay, here is a third stage one. Maybe it'll be fine. Okay, let's leave it to grow for one more day. And that might be okay. It, it might be fine. It might be fine. Uh, and then I have to get T-Bone's plot. Don't know if I wanted to test anything over here. I don't think I did. All right, let's finally talk to T-Bone. This is really truly about time. Let's do it, please. T-Bone seems to still be in his little sleep shirt. That is so freaking cute. <laughs> it is kind of, I think it's like 7 a.m. So, you know, I'm not gonna blame him. <laughs> yeah, once everything in the back is like, you know, covered with flowers, it'll just, it'll change the entire vibe so much. Just adding a few like weed fields and a bit of the pathing, I think already makes it seem like, I don't know, it makes much more sense. <laughs> it makes much more sense to me. Um, I did, I oh, I keep forgetting that I like reload and then it's on the picture app again or like the camera app. Um, I think we're gonna start the rock path like here though. And this here will still be the regular kind of dirt, dirt sand one. Seems to be a bit more, I don't know. It seems to make a little bit more sense to me. Okay, uh, T-Bone's plot, right, right, right. There we go. We did frame it nicely, so this shouldn't be too hard to find the spot for it this time around. A little further back, please. Yeah, that seems to be perfect. This is the spot. Okay, I'm not even gonna check. I'm gonna trust um, past Moline that this was a good spot. Although I think I did, I did kind of question it a little bit. And then let's just briefly also remove that pathing. <laughs> okay, there we go. It's as if nothing ever happened. <laughs> T-Bone never left, you know, we we never had to uh, had to witness that fight between him and Flurry. Actually, we didn't, you know, there wasn't really a fight. I just kind of came up with that. Um, but yeah, I love the weird random picture of Brewster there. That makes total sense. Um, but we added a whole bunch of uh, little details today, you know, which also don't underestimate it because it often takes a lot of time. Um, we did just add a couple of things here to our little uh, kids tent setup. Like, I don't know, is this like, is this considered a campsite archipelago? It might just be. <laughs> but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. That'll be it for today. I think I will see you again in the next episode, which I think I'm only gonna be able to record in about like maybe two weeks. So forgive me if I will be a bit flustered and all over the place. I'm still excited to read all of your like character development storyline ideas and also of course like area ideas or anything that you would love to see me build on this island. Feel free to drop it in the comments. And then um, yeah, I hope that you have a lovely time until I see you in the next video. Bye everyone.